Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We have second quarter results from Mobileye. This is the business story behind one stock on the move. The stock is moving way down, even though the results were a lot better than last quarter. Let's talk about that. I'm Future Earn Group's Chief Market Strategist, Corey Johnson. Mobileye makes the sensors that go into uh, uh, autonomous driving vehicles and other vehicles. Um, and it's been a very interesting company to watch. Intel's had a big investment with the company over the years, a close relationship with them. But Wall Street just looks at a beat or a miss, and this was a beat, but the stock was way down. Why? Well, let's dig into the business a little bit here. So the company reported um, $439 million in revenues. And while that's down 3% year over year, down is bad. It's not as bad as last quarter. Last quarter was terrible. So this actually was 84% better than the previous quarter. Uh, the company said because their customers who had stocked up tons of inventory, and we'll get back to the inventory issue, but the inventory they'd stocked up, they started to go through some of that. Uh, and they sold more systems, a lot more systems than the lousy first quarter. Uh, they sell two, predominantly two systems, IQ and Supervision. IQ is the old stuff, Supervision is the new stuff. People are really excited about Supervision and what it means for autonomous driving. But when we dig into the numbers here, the revenue decline continues. There's no getting away from that. It's down 3% on a year-over-year -year basis. And even though IQ and Supervision growth rebounded tremendously in terms of the number of systems that they sold, uh, nearly 8 million systems, up 111% on a year-over-year -year basis, I'm sorry, but on a sequential basis over last quarter, still down on a year-over-year -year basis. And their operating profits, well, they had a loss, 21% loss on an operating basis, but that's better than the 100% loss they had last quarter. Fundamentally, the issue here is that inventory problems persist. They said that their customers were working through the inventory, but they told us that last quarter as well, and some of the numbers look a little bit better, but the inventory at mobile, I forget their customers, is really high. They had $485 million worth of inventory uh, on their shelves, uh, nearly 200 days worth of inventory. So how did the stock react when the numbers came out? Well, it sold off big time. Stock down 19%, uh, as well as 55% um, uh, over the course of the last year, at least that's where they're at right now. So a big downturn for this company, maybe not what you'd expect for something so exciting as autonomous driving and the future of vehicular everything. But the CEO, uh, the Israeli professor, um, Omnan Shaushawa, my Hebrew is terrible. But in any case, um, he's a fascinating guy and he had some really interesting uh, thoughts about what's happening in China and, and how the market may be turning to them in the long term, but in the short term is really struggling. Here's what he had to say. I, I think China automotive is a very volatile market. The dynamics are currently different from global markets at large. You know, for one, the balance between cost and performance trade-off is skewed mainly due to lack of testing governance or clear and testable KPIs of base ADAS functions like uh, AEB. This is opposite to the, the ongoing trend in the US and Europe where we see a considerable sustained expansion of ADAS safety uh, requirements, such as uh, the GSR mandate in Europe, FMV SS-127 in the U.S., new criteria for Euro NCAP ratings in 2026, 2028, all of which serve as tailwind for increased content, multi-camera requirement, higher performance bar, which is where uh, Mobileye shines. So we, we believe that our stable ground in China in the near term is primarily amongst major Chinese OEMs with global sales and which seek a global solution. So hidden within that is something really interesting here. What he's suggesting is that perhaps the safety standards that Mobileye can meet and cheaper competitors cannot, those cheaper competitors might work in China, but they will not hit the, the standards that the U.S. is gonna require. And so Mobileye thinks that even a Chinese manufacturer selling into the U.S. like Polestar, those kinds of customers are gonna be really important for this company going forward because they think that they meet some safety hurdles that other manufacturers of these uh, sensing systems do not. All right, what's it all mean? What's your big drill on earnings takeaway? I'm gonna tell you how to understand what happened with Mobileye this quarter with one number that means a whole lot right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. Okay, Mobileye just reported second quarter numbers. A conference call just ended. 
Wall Street hated these numbers. What's to hate? Well, revenues were down 3% year over year. And while they were up a lot from last quarter, they're still down. This is supposed to be a growing, exciting business of automated driving and sensors and everything. But China is a big problem. So as the revenue declines continue on a year over year basis, the real problem is inventory. This company is sitting in 192 days of inventory. That's the one number that tells us a whole lot about this business. 192 days of inventory is gonna take some time to work through. That's why Wall Street at least is giving up for the moment on a stock that sold off a lot over the last year as well. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson, Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media. And of course, you can follow me at X, at Corey TV, on Instagram and TikTok, at Drill Down Pod, and see all of our earnings reports and a whole lot more at 6.5 Media on YouTube. Leave some comments, tell us what you think. We'll be watching.